Hello everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be on a simple DIY Homer Polar motor. And to be fair, when I joined here and started making videos maybe three years ago, this was my first introduction 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 to motors. And to be fair, I did actually record a video on this again around three years ago, but because let's say my presentation skills and the information in that video was a little bit subpar, so it never actually see, got to see the light of day. And it wasn't until about a week ago I started thinking about it again, and I was like, that is actually an awesome idea, let me stick it on the list, and I guess here we are, with a bit of vengeance, to do this video. So before we actually crack on with this build, let's talk about what a homopolar actually is in its essence. So what it is, it, a homopolar motor is a DC electric motor with two magnetic poles which produce a constant circular motion. A permanent magnet is attached to one of the terminals of the DC power supply. A conducting wire connects the other terminal to the magnet, thus completing the circuit, allowing the motor to spin around. Rightio, so believe it or not, we're only going to need three things to actually complete this simple DIY homopolar motor. The first one being a battery. A AA battery or AAA battery does work best. We're going to need a magnet, and I've got a relatively small magnet which can actually just stick right onto the end of my battery. And last but not least, we're actually going to need some copper wire. And now, if I bring the camera a little bit closer, I'll show you how all of this gets set up. So right here is everything that we need, and of course I've actually been messing around with this a little bit off camera. And here is the most basic design that I actually come up with. And the idea is as long as it's touching the magnet and touching the top, that will actually spin. So we can do something quite simple by grabbing our piece of wire, put a bend at the top, and then do a little circle at the bottom, like that. And as long as it's touching the magnet and the top of the battery, it should spin. But let me show you something actually a little bit cooler. So this is my preferred way of actually doing this. I grab my copper wire and I wind it into a coil. And what I'm doing is I'm just using a broom because it will give me a nice amount of space. So we just do that, make sure that it all looks nice and good. Then we can take that off. Oh. And then we've got ourselves a nice little spiral and of course I need to tidy that up, make sure I've got the hook at the top, touching the positive of the battery and make sure that the bottom of this coil is actually touching that magnet. So let me show you what it looks like when it's all put together. Right, so let's actually put this thing together. So I've got my piece that I just made using the broom handle. I will stick my magnets to the negative side of the battery. I'll make sure that it's sitting nice making sure that this is going to the top of the positive and then if I give that a little push <laughs> you can just see it spinning actually quite nicely let's see if I can get a little bit more speed out of it there we go So that is it actually working. So as a little bonus clip, I was actually upstairs at my desk messing around this little motor to try and get a little video to send to my friend, and I actually managed to get a better result. So take a look at this. So I thought that was absolutely awesome, and I managed to get a better result out of it, and I actually got a funny response from one of my friends, but I can't believe I slept on this video for three years before I decided to pull my finger out and actually do it because it was a bit of fun and also it was a bit of an experience for me. But with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you later.